If you were using the Samsung keyboard to change the theme, you're going to locate the settings icon here. If it's not here, tap the triple dots, swipe until you see settings and just drag and drop until it's there. In the settings, I want you to locate where it says theme. So we'll select theme and we only have four themes here and you can see them like this. Now, if we want more themes, we want a custom color. You have two options. The first would be to go to the Play Store and to get the Gboard. And this allows you to easily change the theme, but you are using a completely different keyboard. You're using Google's instead of Samsung's. And so if we open this up, you follow the on-screen instructions, and then you'll be brought to the settings. You select theme, and then you can change the theme color like this. And you can see we have that custom theme. But what if you don't want to use Gboard? Instead, you want to use the Samsung keyboard and you want to change the theme. So if you change the keyboard here to Gboard, tap this keyboard icon, and then select the Samsung keyboard again. Sometimes you may see this voice icon instead. Long press voice icon, then tap input method, then tap the keyboard, and then you can change the keyboard you're using. Once we have Samsung keyboard selected again, we're gonna open the Galaxy Store. Inside of the Galaxy Store, we need to get an app called Keys Cafe. And we're going to install the Keys Cafe onto our Samsung. Now we will open the Keys Cafe app. We will agree to the permissions and we can see these options. So we're going to turn on style your own keyboard. We're going to tap the style your own keyboard text. We're going to tap the plus to add a theme. And we're going to install the theme park. We will open the theme park. We will accept the storage permission. Now we're going to go to the keyboard. We'll create a new. So we have a bunch of elements we can customize here. So if you tap, let's say this W key and we go to color, this is gonna change the color of the keys when you tap them. And let's say here, you can see we can change the color of these elements. And this is like a massive customization overload. So we can change the color of these keys. And if you just want to change the background, you're gonna tap the image button and you can either say a custom image or go into theme park. And so I have a wallpaper here, but we can go top three and we can just set a background we want. So let's have a look. Let's use this blue tile and we'll download this one. And once we set this, you can see that looks horrible, but you can change the backgrounds here. To apply this theme, you're gonna tap the download button and a name, we'll put test like that. And we'll tap okay. And so now we're gonna tap the theme. We're gonna apply the theme. Uh, we'll just wait a couple of seconds. Now, when I go to, <laughs> looks so horrible, but you can see we have the keyboard fully themed and this is honestly so cool.